Hello guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And there is a new update that just got pushed out for basically the stuff that's upcoming this week and the new creatures, new kind, just new stuff in general. I'm going to talk about it. If you haven't seen it yet, it's super easy to get to. Just go check out Survive the Ark and then Community Crunch 396. But it brings up some cool things, right? So Ark has, I mean, it's been very quickly dying and that really concerns me we'll talk about that more towards the end because i'm a little bit like oh boy we have problems um but they are introducing their new creature their new event and a few other things including some modding and stuff like that so anyways if you haven't seen it yes this giant thing is the giganto raptor now it's going to be a very interesting creature but we'll talk about why in just a second here you can see obviously the uh, excitement from the new custom cosmetic system if you haven't seen that there's some cool stuff that's coming out with that um but you know we'll, i'll talk about that in just a second um and you can see in our first community bite where they were talking about essentially the um modding concepts and stuff like that uh and then love evolved is also coming out on february 13th for a week until the 20th i think they'll probably extend it like they always do with their events but you know it's possible that they don't so i could be wrong on that but anyways let's focus on the important stuff the giganto raptor now if you haven't seen it right here i mean it's literally on your screen so hopefully you can figure that out but uh as you can see it is massive now it's gonna look like it i mean to me it looks like it's gonna be about the size of the tickle chicken it almost looks identical to the tickle chicken it's even got the long four arm things if you want to call them that um but here's the cool thing so there's a human in the background that's gonna have to sneak the egg and it's got like a little baby army now it talks about the queen of helicopter parenting or king uh giganto raptor soon to grace the prehistoric landscape in the center with love larger than life now this majestic creature fiercely guards its brood while ex uh, exuding elegance with uh and danger from its colorful plumage and razor sharp claws get ready to witness the awe-inspiring presence of the giganoraptor with the release of the center later this month now this is what i get excited about right so it's one of those creatures where you can't just go out and knock out tame it you're gonna have to gather its egg this is a unique egg that yellow and blue i don't think anything else has yellow and blue egg maybe i'm wrong tell me if, if you don't know and put it in chat below and I'm, I'm curious i don't think anything else does but here's the dossier for it you can see that it actually has some really cool things the domesticated this is where it's going to be interesting bad news um only but well, basically um it's on a it, you read it right here i'm sorry i'm just gonna like summarize it for you basically all it says is that you have to tame it by getting an egg out in the wild um and then they were able to sneak into the nest wins the trust of the young and then claim the reward as well as the risk now you can see inseparable bonds with its young charges basically just means that you're they're gonna have the ability to raise right so you can see that like some of the things like it's a it, maybe there's a boost in raising time that's my only theory. I know that people won't I'd be like, oh, you've, they've said this. They always change these things. That it feels like last minute. A lot of these updates, but obviously they're huge. They're going to have something to do with breeding and raising. I just don't know what yet. Now, my thought process is probably going to increase the speed and then somehow have the ability to imprint similar to the nanny did for uh, Survivor Structures Plus. At least that that's my theory on that one. But you can also see odd spotlight came out if you haven't seen some of these a lot of these are really awesome i checked out them all um the cliff and saddles is a really neat mod crazy cosmetics is a cool one um arc of the fallen chibi i mean these are just chibis right um tech dino pack mythical armory this one's really neat and then r and r if you haven't seen r and r of the past r and r had a whole bunch of stuff for arc survival evolved bunch of neat stuff now this is the stuff that we're excited for right because love evolved is uh something that they're releasing this is going to be another one of those ones similar to the Christmas update where you've got massive changes coming into the game, right? Now, here's the negative, right? I don't think this is going to be that big of an event because of the number of people that have dropped off of ARC. ARC is currently hovering at like 13 to 15,000 active players at any given time during the day, which is about, I don't know, a third as much as was averaging on Ark Survival Evolved until Ark Survival Ascended came out. Now, at this point, Ark Survival Evolved has more active players than Ark Survival Ascended. Now, that's crazy. Like, those numbers are hilarious to me. Like, it, it, I don't know if you've seen. I'm not going to go look up the Steam database charts. They're really interesting. But anyways, before we continue, you can see that the, the, they're doing a total workaround on all this. They're 13th to the 20th on official servers. You can also, I'm sure they'll have a mod or something like that on unofficial servers. 
the event dates, you can see them again. The new creatures, there's going to be something called a love bug. I'm assuming this is probably going to be a dung beetle or something along those lines, maybe. Um, and obviously it's going to have some sort of val uh, valuable and then obviously the coal as well, um, which is going to be interesting. I don't really know what they're going to do with that, but they're yeah, I'm assuming it's going to be similar to the Christmas event where they've got special abilities or like maybe catching them. Catching a coal is going to give you some cool rewards or something like that. At least that's what I hope, right? We'll see if that's actually the case or not. And then obviously Valentine's Fishing Rod. That's why I think it's going to be something with catching coal. And then Love Bug Hearts. These are the items that I'm assuming you're going to get from get killing the actual Love Bugs themselves. But we'll see if that's actually the case or not. But I don't know. Obviously, you've got your festive dino candy. And then your box of chocolates will also reduce mating cooldown by 20%. Um, and everything that it's always done in the past. Box of Chocolates is one of the most powerful mating slash breeding times of all of Ark. You've got all of these normal things. You've got the Heart Spring Hat. Don't know what that's going to be. Cuddle Ruck Sweater. And then the Love Bed. This one's going to be hilarious. I think this is going to look like a cheap motel uh, bed, in my opinion. We'll see. Obviously, you've got your old school emotes coming back. Uh, and then you've got all your creature colors from the past. If you didn't check out Garuga's Let's Build, he's going to show you how to build mods. If you've always been curious about that, this dude is incredibly talented. Um, he's having three different sessions. You can see there's session two and session three as well. And uh, he's basically going to like walk you through blueprinting the original mod and then how to actually go live with your mod. Super cool. Um, that's just, I mean, that's an official arc presentation if you want to think of it that way. And then obviously this is a big one, ninth to 12th. You got your bonus rates of 3x and then small is 5.5 five, and then our apocalypse is 6x, which is getting kind of crazy in my opinion. I don't know if they're trying to just like pray they can kind of throw enough stuff at a wall to make people want to stay. But there's some big problems that are going on with Arc. Obviously, you can see the community corner. Um, I checked out some of these they are pretty cool. And then obviously you've got some new people that are starting to show up. And then my favorite part, right? I love when I check out all these because it's just super cool. Some of these people are just really talented like this is cool like that's that's probably one of the cooler things i've seen that model um this one's pretty cool too almost looks like an anime or the anime version which i hope so comes out sometime soon uh but we will see in my personal opinion i hope it does because arc is dying quite rapidly like i said it's got thirteen thousand active players which is not good and the reason is because arc essentially did it to themselves um they released a game with only the island, without the ability to transfer, and that enjoy the game you've been playing for the last eight years, but here's one map with none of the creatures that people love, and then said go. Now mods also had to catch up, mods will start catching up, and I think it'll be something that kind of, it'll snowball eventually, but it's gonna need some more work. I'm really, I mean, the center, I think it'll be a small boost in player. We're not gonna have a major boost in player count until the actual Scorched Earth shows up again with all the new things like the trains and the new creatures and these those giant crab looking flying things. I don't know what those are. If they do that continually throughout this year with the new maps that they're planning on releasing, I will admit that I am excited for it, but we will see if that actually is the case. So anyways, hopefully this video is something that helps you out. I know I've been playing a lot of Power World recently, but I will get back into Ark. I'm just, I don't know. I like playing games and honestly, I was just as burnt out as some of the people playing Ark. When they get into the island, they're super stoked to play and there's not really that much different. So anyways, hopefully this helps you out. And again, if you don't mind, smash that like button. Leave a comment below for that algorithm. Consider subbing to the channel. And other than that, teach.